This is the 2013 Scion TC Release Series 8. One of only 2,000 of this car made with this premium red paint job, modified body kit, 180 horsepower, 4 cylinder engine, and blacked out rims. Certainly a pretty car to look at, but what's it like on the road? Let's find out. So the Scion TC that I'm driving right now is the amped up version of the more general Scion TC that you can buy today. This is the 2013 Scion TC RS8, which means a few things. The first one is it's got a new skirt body kit designed by Toyota's design team 5 Access. It's got this slick red paint job. It's got stickers all over it and badges all over it that says it's the RS8 model. And it's got an engine which outputs 180 horsepower and 173 foot-pounds of torque to the front wheels. And speaking about the engine, you know, I was kind of expecting more from a two-door with 180 horsepower that only weighed 3,000 pounds. The acceleration in this isn't that good. It's, it's pretty sluggish, and even in automatic or manual with paddle shifters, the time between the gear changes. I mean, you could go to one of Gordon Ramsay's famous restaurants and have a four-course meal before it goes from fourth to fifth gear. However, once you finish your dessert, this car flies. Once it gets up there, it gets going, and it's really good around corners as well. Moving to the outside of this car, it really is fantastic. I mean, video will not do justice, the red paint job that this has. It is incredible. On the outside of this car, you're also gonna find a lot of RS8 badges uh, to let other people know that you spent the extra $3,500 premium to get this particular model. You'll also have badges saying that it's been redesigned by Toyota's design team, 5 Axis. A really stealthy spoiler at the back, and then right below that, a center-tuned exhaust, which puts out a really nice engine sound. When you floor it and you've got this car going good, this car sounds amazing. Now this car is a coupe, so it's got only two doors, and if you live in somewhere where you've got a, you know, a smaller parking space, you know, beware, because the doors on this thing are massive and they swing wide, like, they're almost double the size of what I would say a normal door is, so you've got to be really careful when opening it not to fire it into someone else's door like Ace Ventura does. I hate traffic on the Gardner Expressway. Why do I film these videos in Toronto? There's so much traffic in Toronto. I never get anywhere. Blind spots in this car are pretty atrocious as well. Do you hear that engine? Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Blind spots in this car are pretty atrocious. Uh, I mean, I've driven a lot of two doors, but they've all been convertibles with the tops up, and those blind spots are bad. This is just as bad, if not worse, um, when you're looking to your behind you to your right, you can't see anything. So it's kind of a guessing game if there's a car there, and you've really got to utilize the side view mirrors. The so fuel economy in the Scion TC isn't ideal. I mean, uh, this is probably going to be what's uh, the better part of a sixty or seventy dollar tank. Um, and the, how many kilometers were on the odometer? Did you I didn't check. Like, there was maybe four hundred kilometers on the odometer, so it's it's not the greatest on fuel. However, however having said that, uh, we have been pushing it pretty hard the past few days, uh, like revving it right to the line. Um, you know, braking pretty hard, and you know, just putting it through all the tests at four a.m. So fuel economy, that's that. So to elaborate on what I said at the pump, this car has a 55 liter gas tank. And after about 430 kilometers of hard use, mind you, like revving this thing to the max, braking, uh, really like putting this car through the paces, uh, it cost me $59 in fuel. I think uh, gas was a buck 29 to fill up. So, I mean, that, that's reasonable, especially because I just wasn't making the milk run in this car. Like we had it like revving up to the red line pretty much every time we had it. So consuming a lot of fuel. Up front here, the Scion TC is uh, quite spacious, and I've actually gotten that compliment many times from people who've gotten into the car, that the front of the car is, you know, it's really spacious. I'm comfortable right now, my passengers never complain. It's when you start tossing people in the back that their leg room is really compromised. I took my brother to a hockey tournament uh, a few days ago, and all he did was complain about the leg room in the back seat. However, this is the kid that bitches about fresh air constantly, so uh, you can't really trust him. But I, I saw it, and there was compromised leg room in the back. In terms of the trunk, so this is a hatchback, his hockey bag fits snugly, and then his hockey sticks had to be put vertical through the car, but they fit. In terms of you know what you're gonna fit in the trunk, I'd probably say you're gonna get maybe one full-size luggage and a duffel bag, if that. So this isn't really, uh, let's take everybody to the airport car, but it is, uh, you know, let's go shopping for the day, let's go uh, grab the groceries, tons of room for that in the back. My console up here isn't cluttered at all. I mean, I've got very big controls, traction control down there, USB in, auxiliary in. Uh, I've got this great display up here for my, my music, uh, all my sources, and it, 
the display matches the color scheme of the car, which is orange and red and black, which is really cool. Uh, very responsive display, and it was very easy. Maybe it's just me that I'm a tech geek, but it was very easy just to kind of sit down in the car uh, without anybody having to explain it to me and familiarize myself with this display here, connect my phone, uh, and get some tunes pumping through the Bluetooth audio system. The driver's experience of this car is quite nice as well. I mean, up here in my cockpit, uh, I don't have a lot of buttons cluttering the steering wheel. All I have is a mode selector for the audio sources, uh, a tuner button, and a volume button, so it's not really cluttered at all. I also have a racing wheel with a square bottom. Paddle shifters up here, they're not metal, they're plastic, uh, but they work well, um, ever said. And I mean, I said this in, I've said this before in the review that the, the gear changes are, they're pretty slow with these paddle shifters up here. Altogether, this is a super fun car to drive. I mean, the ride is a little stiff, but chances are if you're the kind of person who's buying this car, you won't be old enough to dip into your pension and complain about back troubles just quite yet anyways. I really enjoyed having the TC for a week, and I'm super excited to be testing out the Scion FRS soon. The TC definitely is not a family of four-mobile, but if you are looking to buy a sporty two-door that sounds awesome, has paddle shifters, and looks badass, this might just be the car for you. I mean, you'll just have to work extra hard to satisfy that $27,000 MSRP price tag. But once you have, you'll find comfort in knowing that you own one in 2,000 of a certain car ever made.